The automotive supply chain is one of the most intricate and globally interconnected production networks in the world. Behind every car that rolls off the assembly line lies a vast web of suppliers, manufacturers, and logistics providers, each playing a critical role in transforming raw materials into the complex machines we rely on every day. To truly appreciate the scale and sophistication of the system, it's important to explore its structure, the flow of materials and components, and the many factors that drive its complexity. At the heart of the automotive supply chain is a tiered supplier structure. This system is organized in layers, each with its own responsibilities and specialties. Closest to the automaker are the Tier 1 suppliers. These companies are responsible for delivering major vehicle systems and components directly to the original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs. Their contributions go beyond simple manufacturing. They are deeply involved in the design, engineering, and integration of critical systems such as engines, transmissions, braking systems, and advanced safety features. Industry giants like Bosch, Magna, and Denso are examples of Tier 1 suppliers. They work hand-in-hand -hand with automakers to ensure that components meet stringent quality, safety, and performance standards. Just beyond this first layer are the Tier 2 suppliers. These companies supply parts, sub-assemblies, or specialized technologies to the Tier 1 suppliers. For instance, a Tier 2 supplier might manufacture airbags, which are then integrated by a Tier 1 supplier into a larger vehicle safety system. The relationship between Tier 1 and Tier 2 suppliers is critical, as it allows for specialization and efficiency, enabling each participant to focus on their core competencies. Further upstream are the Tier 3 suppliers and beyond. These companies are often responsible for providing raw materials or highly specialized parts. For example, a Tier 3 supplier might supply the specific type of steel needed for car door panels, or the rare earth elements required for electric vehicle batteries. Their work is foundational, as the quality and availability of these raw materials ultimately affect the entire supply chain. This tiered structure is not confined to a single country or region. Instead, it spans the globe, with each stage of production often taking place in a different part of the world. The reasons for this global dispersion are many. Automakers and their suppliers seek to optimize costs access specialized skills and technologies, and tap into regional expertise. As a result, the journey from raw material to finished automobile involves a complex web of interconnected flows. Consider the sourcing of raw materials. Steel, aluminum, plastics, rubber, and rare earth elements are the building blocks of modern vehicles. These materials are extracted and processed in countries like China, Australia, Brazil, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. For example, cobalt and lithium, essential for electric vehicle batteries, are often mined in Africa or South America, then shipped to processing plants in Asia or Europe. Once these basic materials are refined, they are transformed into individual components. Here, specialization and cost effectiveness play a significant role. Engine components might be manufactured in Japan or South Korea, leveraging decades of expertise in precision engineering. Electronic systems, such as control units, sensors, and infotainment modules, might be sourced from Germany, Taiwan, or China, where advanced manufacturing capabilities and innovation are concentrated. Interior trims and seating components could come from Mexico, China, or Eastern Europe, where labor costs are lower and production capacity is high. These components are then grouped into sub-assemblies often in locations that make logistical or economic sense. For instance, transmission systems might be assembled in Japan or the United States, drawing on components sourced from multiple countries. These sub-assemblies are then shipped to vehicle assembly plants, which are strategically located to serve key markets and minimize transportation costs. Final assembly is the culmination of this global journey. Automakers often locate assembly plants in countries where demand is high, trade agreements are favorable, and labor costs are competitive. For example, a car destined for the North American market might be assembled in the United States, Canada, or Mexico, using parts and components sourced from across the globe. This approach allows automakers to respond quickly to changing market conditions, 
comply with local regulations, and manage costs. The complexity of the automotive supply chain is driven by several key factors. Globalization is perhaps the most significant. In pursuit of cost efficiency and specialized skills, automakers have built geographically dispersed networks of suppliers and partners. This has allowed them to leverage the best capabilities from around the world, but it has also introduced new challenges in coordination, communication, and risk management. Another major factor is the widespread adoption of just-in-time inventory systems. Under this approach, manufacturers keep inventory levels as low as possible, relying on precise and timely delivery of parts from suppliers. This minimizes warehousing costs and reduces waste, but it also means that any delay or disruption in the supply chain can have immediate and far-reaching consequences. Product complexity is also a significant driver. Modern vehicles are marvels of engineering, containing thousands of unique parts and systems. The increasing integration of electronics and software has added another layer of complexity, as automakers must coordinate the development and sourcing of sophisticated technologies like advanced driver assistance systems, connectivity features, and electric powertrains. Regulations and trade agreements further complicate the landscape. Automakers must navigate a patchwork of safety, emissions, and trade regulations, which vary from country to country. Agreements like the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, or USMCA, shape regional supply chains by setting rules for content origin, labor standards, and market access. Compliance with these regulations requires careful planning and coordination across the supply chain. Geopolitical instability and disruptions are ever-present risks. Events like trade wars, pandemics, and natural disasters can cause significant interruptions to the flow of materials and components. For example, a natural disaster in one country can halt the production of a critical component, causing delays for automakers and suppliers around the world. The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the vulnerability of global supply chains as factory shutdowns and transportation bottlenecks reverberated across the industry. To illustrate the global nature of the automotive supply chain, consider the example of a car manufactured in the United States. The engine might contain components sourced from Japan, with final assembly taking place in the U.S. The transmission could be manufactured in Japan or South Korea. Electronic control units, essential for managing everything from engine performance to safety systems, might be sourced from Germany or Taiwan. Interior components, such as seats and dashboards, could be produced in Mexico or China. Steel and aluminum might originate from Canada or Brazil, while tires could be manufactured in Thailand or South Korea. Each of these elements travels thousands of miles, crossing borders and continents, before coming together in the final vehicle. This intricate web of relationships and dependencies underscores the interconnectedness of the global automotive industry. A disruption in one part of the world, whether due to a natural disaster, political instability, or a sudden spike in demand, can have cascading effects on production and delivery timelines across the globe. As a result, automakers are increasingly focused on building more resilient and transparent supply chains. This includes diversifying sources of supply, investing in digital technologies to improve visibility and traceability, and developing contingency plans to respond to unexpected disruptions. In the years ahead, the automotive supply chain will continue to evolve. The shift toward electric vehicles, the integration of advanced technologies, and the changing landscape of global trade will all shape the future of this vital industry. By understanding the complexities and interdependencies of the supply chain, automakers and suppliers can better navigate the challenges and seize the opportunities of a rapidly changing world. The next time you see a car on the road, remember that it is not just a product of engineering and design. It is the result of a vast, intricate, and truly global network of collaboration and innovation.